Hello everyone, this is Louis from Edge Impulse. Today I'm going to do an unboxing video of the Qualcomm Dragonwing RB3 Gen 2. This board looks great and now that we support it, I'm going to show you what's in the box and how can we easily use it with Edge Impulse. So this board is a powerful Linux-based development kit based on the IQ 6490, IQS6490 processor. It has two built-in cameras, a Kiro 670 CPU, an Adreno 643L GPU, and 12 tops hexagon 770 NPU. So it's fully supported by Edge Impulse and you'll be able to record raw data directly from the device to build machine learning models and to deploy your trained models directly from the studio. Now, let's see what's in the box. Okay, so the box comes with a getting started guide, a setup guide. I usually don't read those. Shows the component list, how to get started with it and some important notice on how to connect the mezzanine board to the RB3 Gen2 board. All right. So I love the layouts of that board. That looks great. So it comes as well with a power cable. This is a US, I'm based in France, but I definitely have adapters. Comes with a few more cables. And then Oh, that looks like a microphone. And another one. Okay, great. Okay, first step, let me try to connect it to my laptop and see how we can set up the device. So to connect your board, you can go to docs.edgeimpulse.com slash docs, and you can search for the Qualcomm Dragonry RB3 Gen 2 dev kits. Here we have put a getting started guide on how to connect your board and set it up. So first step is to install the Edge Impulse CLI. It's already done on my laptop. Then I need to connect the power cable to the back of the board, which is here. And then I need to connect the USB to here. Okay. Now I need to open a serial connection in between my laptop and the board. Let's try to do that. So we have in Edge Impulse CLI, Edge Impulse Run Impulse Grow. This is basically a serial connection between your device. But if you're more familiar with, let's say, putty or screen, you can also use that. So now that... I might upgrade the Edge Impulse CLI just in case. So once I've done that, hold the upright mouse button. Seems to be that one. Just re. For about two seconds. So I'm going to do that for about two seconds. Two. So I saw a blink, green blink. 
You can see on the serial connection that things are happening. I need to wait about 30 to 60 seconds and I should see a login prompt in the terminal, which is root for the login. And the password is oelin123. Okay, I am on it. So, okay, let me pause the video for a second so I can have a quick look at the next steps and I'll get back to you in a second. So now what I want to do is to set up a network connection. So to do that, I'm going to connect to the board again. And note that I'm using Minicom. Notice some error with Edge Impulse UI. Okay, here we go. So first you want to check your Qualcomm Linux version. So to do that, you can Okay, so here it is. Either use uname or read the OS release file, which is located in the slash etc directory. One, so my version is below 1.3, so I need to edit the WPA uh, supplicants. To do that, there are a few commands that you can run. So set enforce, mounts, kill the process, and then edit it. Make sure to end comments the lines with your SSID and password. And then you can reboot the board and you should be ready to go. So let me try to do that. So my P is this one. So now I should be able to open a new terminal and SSH into it. Okay, so I'm, I am on the Qualcomm board. Let me just test it. Just want to check if, yeah, okay. I can delete my serial connection. I don't need that anymore. And I can only stay on the SSH connection. And now to install a Jimple CLI, so you need to get the script that we provide for you. Okay, we'll see if that works. Let me, let me try that. Okay. So we packaged every tools that we need to run the Edge Impulse tooling. That includes the Node.js, the NPM package, so you can connect to your board and all the like surroundings. Okay, so it's done, run. And I am going to add pulse Linux. Okay, so I am on needs. need to connect to a new project. Let me first create a new project. So RB3 Gen 2 Unboxing. I'm going to create that project. I need to quit that, unfortunately. Okay, try that one. Hey, hey, 
Now, if I want to connect, collect some data, remove this one. And here we go. Okay, let's see the quality. It's actually pretty, pretty good. Ta-da, this is how you can connect your device. Now, next step, I'm going to run a machine learning model directly on the device. Okay, now I've got a project that I like. This is the cube on the conveyor belt. <laughs> We've used that project a thousand times, probably. I am going to get my API key and I am going to connect, so Edge Impulse Linux Runner API key. I'm going to check, so which version do I want? Let me get the default FOMO. And then either the unoptimized, so the model we run on the CPU. Let's select the quantized model. Not even sure about the accuracy. So the model is compiling. We are retrieving directly on the board the model from the studio. To take a few more seconds and then we'll be able to test the inference directly on the board. Let's try the fisheye. The data type doesn't really correspond, but we'll see how it goes. So I have this. Okay. I'm going to run the We will see if it's all right. So that was a test. I think it's a great way to discover the RB3 Gen2. Let us know what you think. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us directly on forum.edgeimpulse.com and we would be super happy to help you to set up your RB3 Gen2 board onto Edge Impulse Studio. Thanks for watching. This was Louis from the Edge Impulse Developer Relations Team. Have a great day and happy learning.